Hello, I'm Kay Foley of This Week with George Stephanopoulos, and I'm joined today by Mayor Cory Booker of Newark, New Jersey. Thank you for joining us today. Good to be here, Kay. And because we believe all politics is social, we're putting some of your questions from Facebook and Twitter to the mayor. All right, let's start off. All right. When we asked for questions, if anyone had any on Twitter and Facebook, um, Jim Bloom tweeted at us, no, because you answer all of his tw questions directly through Twitter, winky face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, many people expressed similar sentiments. So how many hours a day do you spend on Twitter? I guess it's so seamless that I don't even really think about it that way. So it's like going from meeting to meeting or waiting for people to come into the office. A lot of it happens in the early morning when I wake up or late at night, which uh, gives a lot of my followers this idea that I don't sleep. But if I, if I wake up at, like this morning around 4 o'clock, uh, I'll, I'll start uh, checking my Twitter and responding to people. Do you ever feel you can take a day off? or? Um, you know, it's so integrated. It's like saying, do I want to take a day off from talking or do I want to take a day off from connecting to people? And I've looked at the averages, you know, maybe sometimes 15, 20 tweets a day. Sometimes mm -hmm. it goes down, sometimes it goes up, depending on what's going on. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's really, this is the democratization of our democracy in, mm -hmm. in a weird way because there's so many forces that are pulling people away, uh, leaders away from the people, uh, special interest groups, money in politics, uh, creating a more of an elite environment. But I think that social media has a chance to pull people back mm -hmm. and have uh, politicians far more accessible, far more transparent, far more connected, and ultimately move from a hierarchical society to a, a level playing field. Okay, and then uh, Alan Russell Carter wonders what your thoughts are on Clinton Booker 2016. <laughs> um, unless uh, Clinton Booker 2016 is some kind of uh, new rock band that might, <laughs> might be uh, coming out. Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, uh, in life, uh, a purpose is far more important than position. And so many of us lose sight of where we are by looking at where we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm mayor of the city of Newark and I love what I'm doing. And in many ways, this is my highest aspiration in terms of having a job where I can really help people. Uh, the next thing I'm thinking about doing next year is possibly running for the United States Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think when you start going further in, uh, afield from that, it begins uh, to get a little absurd. Michelle Seltzer asks, what do you consider your best policy achievement as mayor of Newark? God, I mean, look, I think the best thing you can say that, uh, and, and maybe it's less policy and more spirit, is that we've taken a city that used to be just disregarded, disrespected, and just plain dissed, that was losing population, losing tax base, losing business, uh, and now we've reversed those trends, and now people really have a lot of respect for Newark. First time in 60 years our population is growing, our tax base is growing, the first new hotels in our downtown in 40 years, first new office towers in decades, so uh, creating jobs at, at a pretty dramatic clip for our residents. And now for our lightning round. All right. Uh, yeah, you ready? Yes. All right. Um, first question. Question, favorite TV show? Wow, Star Trek, unequivocally so. I'm wow. a Trekkie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so of all the Star Trek sort of universe, I would say The Next Generation was my favorite. Okay, favorite character? Uh, John Luke Picard, of course. of course. He's got the greatest haircut. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, coffee or tea? Uh, coffee. I, and you know what's interesting? It's I did not drink coffee before this job. I always say this really? job drove me to drink. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, first concert? Uh, I went to a Lionel Richie concert. It was oh, my first concert. That's no shame. That's okay, great. thank you very yeah. much. I like Lionel Richie. Yeah. Hello. No, <laughs> no, I won't start. Pet peeve. Um, I have lots of pet peeves, but I think the biggest one I have is just meanness, mm -hmm. rudeness. Um, you know, it's like, for me, it's like the deal breaker. If I'm out on a date and the person is like rude to the waiter or to the busboy or something like that, mm -hmm. to me, I think it's just, you know, life's too short. Every moment we have a chance to show kindness and. Um, that, that to me is the thing I like the most about humanity. When, when people don't even think that, that you're being watched and you see somebody bend over and pick up some trash or uh, help somebody, it's that, that to me makes lifts me the most to witness that. And the, the opposite of that is what sort of just makes me frustrated the most. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, guilty pleasure. Uh, so many. <laughs> um, uh, look, I, I think the, the two things I indulge in uh, the most one's food. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have an illicit relationship with two guys named Ben and Jerry mm -hmm. um, that, that is enjoyable. And then, you know, it's just bad TV, you know. So late, late at night, if I come home particularly discouraged from a day, I can see myself sitting with ice cream and watching some something on TV. Uh, uh, John Stewart, Stephen Colbert, uh, hoping that they'll make me laugh mm. at the end of the day before I hit the sack. I think we can all relate to that. Yes. So thank you so much for no, taking the time you. to talk with Very us. Much. This has been great. Appreciate it. And thank you to all of you that have submitted your questions. Uh, please be sure to follow us this week at tw on Twitter at This Week ABC and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thisweekabc.